We know we've told you about a lot of difficult news lately that's rough to hear and tough to hear, but we know you want balance in your life and newscasts as well. So some good news about development coming to the downtown area. One Dayton developer is showing us it's a personal mission that spans generations. Dan Edwards shows us what's working in Dayton. Charlie Sims family has been designing and building homes in the Dayton region for four generations. He continues that legacy today, but he's taken a much different path, path that has led him to downtown Dayton. This feels good, yeah. Many say Sims is responsible for the residential building boom in downtown Dayton. And I was skeptical. I'll, you know, I'd be the first to admit to do that downtown. He says his initial concern was downtown Dayton's image. There was a market trending around the country to a revival of urban living. We decided to give you know, the city of Dayton a chance. In May of 2011, Sims invested $3 million downtown on Patterson Square. These high profile, low energy condos at the corner of First and Patterson. But would he do it again? Most definitely. We're very close on a couple uh, additional uh, developments that we're working on. Of course, that led to this development. Well, the development is Rubicon Square. By year's end, will boast 14 new craftsman-style townhomes in the shadow of Miami Valley Hospital. We've always, you know, followed the market and the trends, and you know, Washington Township Centerville was extremely popular. Beaver Creek came very popular. Downtown Dayton now is where the market wants to live. Sims credits the city's fast-track pre-development team as a reason for the sudden surge of success downtown. I was a little intimidated. I came in, there's like 20 people in the room, and um, we laid out all the plans, and it was a thorough discussion. I'm telling you, it was the best thing I've ever seen. He says developing Patterson and Rubicon Square has allowed him to bring to market an entirely new brand of condo living that's now catching on across the country, which he calls urban living for the suburbs. That's the type of style that the, the buyers like. They like the brick on the inside. They like the exposed ceilings things like that. So it looks kind of like a New York City loft. I feel really good about my building in the future in downtown Dayton, continuing in the suburbs and in downtown. With what's working in Dayton, Dan Edwards, 2 News.